So when is training actually damaging to your immune system? One report showed that there was between 100 and 500% increased risk of picking up an infection post an ultra endurance running event. A number of studies have examined the effect on the immune system of certain exercises and particularly when overtraining might be diminishing your immune system. One study looked at the relationship between exercise and immune health, particularly looking at contracting the common colds. And unsurprisingly, what it showed was that generally moderate activity exercises associated with an increased immune function and therefore reduced susceptibility to certain infections like colds. However, when taken to an exhaustive state, as we can see from this graph taken from the study, immune function actually declines and with it, risk of infection actually increases and can increase to the point even worse than that of those sedentary. So when is post-exercise immune dysfunction most prominent? Well, it appears it is when the exercise is prolonged, that is longer than an hour and a half, that it is sub-maximal intensity between 55 and 75% of your VO2 max, and perhaps most importantly, done without nutrition, done without any intake. So if you are an endurance athlete and you are partaking in these sort of types of exercise, then perhaps just consider firstly feeding the engine, but also making sure that you do schedule in suitable rest, make it as part of your training regime as anything else. Because if you do participate in perhaps this exercise day in, day out, then you do run the risk of longer lasting immune support depression, gain infection, which is inevitably going to set your training back.